welcome to the new video in this video i will explain you about the pin out of lgt 8f 328p boards lgt have the common three types this is the nano compatible and we also have the 20 pin lgt board here and the other type is this because nano compatible and this board same exactly the same mcu so for this i didn't mention the detail so let's start from the nano here you can see on the top right side the first pin is v in this v in pin goes to the ldo lgt boards are using lm triple one seven ldos so the maximum input voltage range for these ldos is uh, up to 15 volt you can apply from 5.5 to 15 volt any voltage range at the input pin so beside this if you already have the stable voltage power supply that is less than 5.5 volt or 1.8 to 5.5 volt so you can directly you don't need to use v in you can directly apply here on the 5 volt so you need to understand the mcu operating voltage mcu operating voltage is from 1.8 to 5.5 so uh, if you apply the high voltage the power consumption on the mcu side will be high so if you apply the lower voltage the power consumption will be low so it's depend upon the your project uh, according to your project priorities so if you use this board at 3.3 volt the power consumption will be less as compared to 5.5 volt you also can use at 1.8 volt next if we go for the pins here you can see uh, the pin number is almost exactly same as the dino nano a7654321 these are the analog pins here the, you can see the symbol these pins are analog pins uh, this is the sine wave symbol is analog so uh, on this board you will not see the scl and sda printed anywhere so here you can see scl a5 is by default scl and a4 is sda so these two pins you can use as the i to c communication uh, beside this if you go for this board have one extra feature if we you apply the v in voltage or 5 volt here so it also can output 3.3 volt if you are using some external sensor uh, that use the 3.3 you directly can use these 3.3 volt from this board okay d13 if you see the d13 on the arduino nano d13 is also the L led pin that blink the led so on the LGT also D13 can be used to blink the LED. Okay, and uh, beside this, if we go for the UART communication, you also on these pins also have the TX and RX. Here we also have the TX and RX, these two pins. Okay, and you also need to notice the maximum drive current for the pins is uh, 80 milliamps here you also can see in the red color 80 milliamps 80 milliamps the maximum driving current for this gpio okay uh, if we see the which pin is the pwm for motor drives especially for motor drive speed control we need to use the pwm pin normal gpio we cannot use so the pwm pins are exactly same as the dino nano here i mentioned you can notice that the d3 d5 d6 d9 d10 and d11 these pins are the pwm pin okay uh, <clears throat> next here you can see the digital pins d2 d3 d4 and up to d12 here and these all other function details is given here in this image so let me go for the ssop 20 20 pin mcu 20 pin mcu is little different it's not compatible with uh, uh, i can't say is exactly compatible with the arduino any arduino because it's the pins are less so <clears throat> here if we go this ldo is exactly same the input range is same as uh, the uh, nano compatible as I say you before 
so we directly can start from the pins here you can see i2c scl sta or you can use these pins as a4 and a5 these are the analog pin here we have the a1 mean the analog pin 1 and it also can be used as ADC 1 and ADC 0 and uh, this is the D13 and it also have uh, uh, I2S communication M I2S master in slave out D12 can be configured as master in slave out and D10 R11 can be considered as master out slave in here you can see it mention 10 or 11 so when you program this mcu you cannot use d10 and d11 at the same time because d10 and d11 on this board are assigned on the same pin so you only can use d10 or d11 next 8 and 9 again assigned on the same pin then you only can use d8 and d9 sorry i like uh, right here the 6 it it is uh, d8 and d9 so on the other side if you go, if you go here d3 and d4 so you only can use uh, 3 r4 you cannot use uh, 3 and 4 at the same time so here is the d2 pin is also can be used as interrupt 0 and d3 pin can be used as interrupt 1 here is the vcc directly you also can apply here 1.825.5 volt this mcu range is also same again here d5 and d6 you can use d5 and d6 r uh, rxd and txd for the uart communication here is the raw pin raw pin is means the input pin so in this raw pin you can apply 5.5 to 15 volts so that was about this uh, small board so the program is exactly same as Arduino you once you install the Arduino uh, LGT board on Arduino IDE uh, I will put the link on description how to install the uh, LGT board on Arduino IDE once you install after that the program will be exactly same as Arduino okay the third type you can see is here third type use the same MCU as here so the pins are all almost same there is no double pin for like the SSOP 20 each pin assigned the single pin number so this I didn't understand because it's exactly same as here uh, okay if we go next here you can see that uh, some other details that I mentioned the operating voltage uh, PWM pins and it also have built in internal calibration reference voltage for uh, DAC digital to analog converter here are the different level that we can set and uh, we also have ADC 8 channel ADC 12 bit 8 channel ADC and the flash is 32 K bytes and RAM is 2k bytes and the frequency is depend upon you you can select any from 1 megahertz to 32 megahertz but you need to notice that uh, on 1 megahertz all function will not work at least you need to choose 4 8 16 or 32 like this if you choose only 1 megahertz to reduce your power or for any other purpose maybe some function will not work okay that was all about this video thanks for watching if you have any questions or any comment you can write thanks for watching